Hello, Wissam Sgayer here, the founder of WinFeds. On behalf of the whole family of WinFeds, we welcome you to this wonderful webinar, How to Grow Your Federal Government Business Once and for All and Discover the Hidden Secrets to Winning Contracts. Did you know that right now is the best time to profit on the U.S. federal government marketplace, which is better than any other time in history? And here is the big reason why. Because traditional businesses are dying. And I know this sounds incredibly high up, but let us just look at the facts. Hertz Rental Car is bankrupt. Intelsat is bankrupt. Jesse Penny is bankrupt. Latam Airlines is bankrupt. Those are the companies that just said, I'm done, I'm throwing in the towel of filing. And let us look at the closing of more businesses. Neiman Marcus is bankrupt. Frontier Communications is bankrupt. Whiting Petroleum is bankrupt. GNC is bankrupt. Boom, done. This is a very scary time, especially if you are not on the government marketplace and you are not selling them your products and services. And let me drop some facts when it comes to the U.S. government. The federal government signs over 11 million contracts per year. And contracting officers post an average of 3,500 opportunities every single day on beta.sem.gov. By the way, I will give you a free copy of Attracting a Streamline of Government Clients. More public procurements are needed and requested every single day. So you say, Wissam, that sounds pretty big. How big exactly is the U.S. government? Well, let us look at some departments spending. The Department of Defense's budget is $718 billion. The Department of Health and Human Services budget is $87.1 billion. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security's budget is $51.7 billion. The NASA's budget is $21 billion. Isn't that exciting? And let us look at some more departments of spending. The Department of Education's budget is $62 billion. The Department of Energy's budget is $31.7 billion. The U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs budget is $93.1 billion. The Department of State's budget is $40 billion plus. Who could forget COVID-19's emergency fund of over $150 billion? Now, every U.S. citizen receives benefits with a way or another. Whether you are driving in a nicely paved highway or getting a new driver's license, you are receiving a U.S. government benefit. And some other countries are lacking these benefits, and that's because they are lacking funds. So it is your opportunity that is laid here on the soil of the U.S. and its territories that is where growth of businesses is heading. And let me tell you right now, if you try to get more business without tapping into the U.S. federal marketplace or using the government's transparent process, which offers fair opportunities for small businesses and operates at the deepest level of trust, and you do not have this line of business backing you, it is infinitely harder. Now here's some good news for small businesses. The US government just keeps spending more and more each year, as you can see in this figure. So if you are not using these benefits, you can swim upstream or you can swim downstream, your choice. But the US government marketplace is the downstream and it just keeps getting bigger every single year and I'm here to help you cash in on it. Now, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. There are some challenges we have to face along the way. And listen, anybody who told you it was easy to get into the federal government marketplace, he or she was not telling you the truth because it is a process driven to get into it. And most people will find themselves financially destitute by the age of 65 and there are obstacles that stand in the way of their path to financial freedom. Specifically, these are the obstacles that we see people encounter when they attempt to use business to government model, which is the best and most profitable source. So the first obstacle is money. This is a very common obstacle. Nathan, who started working with us here at WinFeds way back in 2018, money was a big deal for him. Money was a deal for him in a lot of ways. He had four children. He had to provide for them. He already had a full-time job and he was doing okay, but kind of just paying the bills. So how could you make, it, make enough extra money, set it aside, and then use this to fuel a new enterprise? It's a challenge, right? So there are two things that you must realize, either making good money or making excuses. Pick one. 
because you cannot do both very well. Either do one well or you do the other one. So instead of using the excuse of money and that is honestly all that it is, because if it took money to make money, he would still be living paycheck to paycheck. So rather than using the excuse, I do not have enough money, Nathan says, I will figure out a way to get the money, let me get in, and he did. He completely changed his life for good. Time, time is a big one. And let me share with you a story of Chandra. When Chandra started with us here at WinFeds, he won his six-figure federal contract within six months from the time he started responding to proposals. Now, I do not want to promise that you will experience the same results. He did the work and he was committed and dedicated and it's possible. And this is not the only time that I have seen this happening. And this is not winning the lottery here. It's feasible. It has the possibility of occurring. But here is what I found even more fascinating than the numbers. He said, I did not really do anything at first due to my high demanding full time job. How would you like to win government contracts in such a short period of time without even having much time? So Chandra responded to an RFP, then a few weeks later he landed a $55,000 contract. Isn't that exciting? That is what is possible on the federal marketplace because of how gigantic it is and how ripe with opportunities it is. Okay, so time is either an excuse, I do not have enough time, or I will figure out a way with the time that I have now and I will make time to make this work. But that is a decision that you must make. It is possible even with the least amount of time to do this correctly. Ability. This one scares a lot of business owners. The challenge here is more self-esteem than anything. Can I do it? Do I have the capabilities of doing it? Do I have the talent? Do I have the skills? And those are fair questions because Jim was doing federal contracts already prior to working with us. There is a very popular sentiment out there that, oh yes, the US government, you can do it and cut corners. But the truth is you cannot cut corners. You can save time by modeling someone who won government contracts in the past for over 12 years. Am I right? So Jim was doing about two to three contracts per year but then he did it the right way through us here at WinFeds and now he's doing over 36 contracts per year. So ability does play a big part and this is the difference between going to school to learn aerospace engineering versus learning some simple things that at first there is a learning curve but anybody who has a desire to succeed can learn this. Is this making sense? Okay, confusion. So a lot of people have misinformation related to the federal government business as an opportunity. They say, well, Wissam, I'm a newbie. I cannot do this. Well, Cindy, who has Fiber Business Solutions Group, she said, Wissam, I do not know where to get opportunities or qualify them. So there was a lot of confusion about what works, what does not work. A confused mind will hardly see the future. So if you are confused, it creates cloudiness and we will dissipate that ball here today. Is that okay? So what we did, we got opportunities for her and now she's selling her services to multiple agencies and the last contract award that she got was for $213,000. Can you imagine if that happened to you? The biggest one though is fear. Listen, you will screw things up along the way you will get things that are not correct sometimes. You will make decisions that you will later reflect on. You will learn from those mistakes and you will say, oh my God, how did I ever do something like that? Now, Prasin was fearful at first. Then with our guidance and support, he was able to overcome those obstacles and landed his $145,000 contract this year so far. And you can do incredibly well, especially when you follow this process. And the process is simple. So the process goes like this. You select your agency, you capture your opportunity, you qualify it, and you respond to it. You select your agency, you capture your opportunity, you qualify, and you respond. You select, you capture, you qualify, and you respond. All in one system. That's it. Those are the only four things you need to do to win in the federal marketplace. 
Now, there's a lot of details in between those four things. In certain agencies buy more than others. You can qualify your bid on the federal marketplace the way successful vendors qualify their bids and get great results. And responding to proposals, this is your chance to win contracts and to market your company and your brand. There is a way to do it. The question is, are you excited about this opportunity yet? So that is the one who is who I am. My name is Wissam Geyer. I will be your guide today. And I have been a government contractor for over 12 years. I am a husband, a father of three wonderful children and a friend. And this is a picture of me with Josh Davis. He is a three-time Olympic gold medal champion in the sport of swimming. Josh made history by becoming the only man to win three gold medals at the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games. So I wanted to get a degree in electrical and computer engineering from Georgia Tech and I did graduate. Then at Australia University, I received my MBA with concentration in government acquisition. And upon graduation, I moved from Atlanta, Georgia to Arlington, Virginia. And being near Washington, DC, I got my hands dirty in the federal government marketplace especially when I joined CGI Federal as a consultant and I worked on several government contracts, especially the Obamacare project for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. And this is the actual contract awards for the Obamacare project, which was a $27.8 million contract. We were a large team of about 120 engineers and analysts. 20 months later, I joined Deloitte Consulting as a senior consultant and I worked on several government contracts for the Department of State. And here is the actual contract. This is the Department of State project at Deloitte, and it is an $86.8 million contract. And just a quick note that these numbers are verifiable public figures, and you can access them anytime. Then three years later, I joined Booz Allen Hamilton as an associate or a project manager, where I worked on one of the U.S. Air Force projects. And here's the actual contract award for the U.S. Air Force project at Booz Allen Hamilton that I worked on. It is a $20.7 million contract. So I became fascinated with the federal marketplace because the project that I worked on are multi-million dollar contracts as I have showed you. But it took me a while to understand federal contracts. But in 2012, I started to realize the same pattern for larger government contracts. You got to start somewhere, right? And flash forward, just a few short years later, I started helping small businesses acquire government contracts using a simple yet powerful system. And I tell you this to let you know that I have done it and I have been there and nothing beats the federal government marketplace. If you want to win large contracts and make huge profits, nothing, nothing beats the federal government marketplace with a select, capture, qualify and respond process. Are you getting this? Listen to Cindy. This process can be done from anywhere in the US. And in fact, once you get the gist of it, you can do it from anywhere in the world. You see, when the federal government awards you a contract, usually you get paid within seven to 14 days directly to your bank account using the new invoicing system. And you can see the award history and transactions here on this figure. These transactions are made out to a small business contractor, $7.1 million, $21.3 million, $8.2 million, and so on and so forth. I really want you to get addicted to seeing similar transactions to these in your bank account. I want you to get addicted to when you click on one of these, you see something like these deposits that we get here, $131,000, $244,000, $1.2 million. Isn't that exciting? So the process begins with selecting the right agency. What you need to do is finding the right agency that practically buys what you sell. So we must realize how critically important this step is. You see, the more demand for your products and services, the easier it is to sell, right? I cannot tell you how many times we get a business owner started in the federal marketplace and after they win their first contract, they say, we Sam, I'm not even sure how I repeat it again. Well, I will tell you how. A lot of this has to do with demand. And we are going to explore what demand looks like. As for competition, the more demand, the less competition. The easier you can win more contracts. Now listen, we have had business owners who are brand new to the government marketplace, 
who had no idea they were stepping into this federal market and it turns out to be in their best benefit because they walked in with full commitment and dedication and knowing they are able to perform on the contract and they built billion dollar government contracting businesses. I love that. Now forget about competition because there are ways to overcome competition. So the reality is though, competition is not a threat. The less there is initially, the easier you can land contracts. Am I right? Now let us be very clear. This is not a race. Whether it takes you two months or six months to become a successful government contractor, you are still a successful government contractor at the end of the day, right? So let us do things the smart way. Reward is great, but reducing risk is more important. So we want to minimize risk before we maximize reward. The less competition you have, the easier you can win contracts. It's just a concept when it comes to competition. Beyond that, it's just a strategy. Do the numbers work? Do you have enough opportunities in your pipeline? That is the name of the game. So pick an agency with enough funding who buys what you sell so you can make more profits for your company. Isn't that cool? It's amazing what you can do once you grasp the process. And I will share the story behind this picture in a little bit. And because it's an amazing story of what regular people can do. Now, when it comes to agency selection, what agencies should I sell to on the federal marketplace? That is the number one question everybody asks when they first say to me, we say, I want to start winning contracts with the federal government. Which agencies can I sell my products and services to? And the answer is, the best agencies are the ones who buy what you sell. Obvious, right? So before we get into the specifics, should you be selecting this agency or that agency, digging into public data, for example, when I type in the Nike code 541511 and I hit the go button, I get incredibly useful information about the top 10 department full name, the top 10 contracting agencies, sorted by the highest buyer first. So looking into the first buyer is the Department of Defense with 144,379 contracts awarded. You can see that the first buyer agency for that category is the Federal Acquisition Service with 73,306 contracts signed. Now let us look at another example. I type in the keyword plumbing in the search box and I hit the go button and I get this. The first department buyer is the General Services Administration or the GSA with 51,389 contracts acquired. On the right window, you see the top 10 agencies who bought the service of plumbing and related products and services. The first agency is the Federal Acquisition Service with 46,676 contracts awarded. My thought right now is you are pumped, I guess your heart is racing and you are telling yourself I'm ready to get those agencies and sell them my products and services, right? Well, let's do it. The best agencies to select are the ones who buy your products and services often. So they buy what you offer frequently, not just once in a blue moon or once in 10 years, right? Okay, let us see what Eric did in April and May 2020. By the way, Eric is a medical doctor and he is the CEO of Low Corp. Eric was a small business owner struggling to get a government contract. He did not even know what he needs to prepare to submit his proposals and quotes. We worked with Eric to help him with the selection of the right agency for his company and preparing government proposals. The rest was mechanics. The whole process is 80% psychology and 20% mechanics. Now, as you can see, he was awarded a $6 million contract in April and a $354.2 million contract. So you want to focus more on the psychology of your business. So my question to you is, would you like to be our next case study? Okay. So as for Anthony at SNK Aerospace, Anthony was selling to commercial businesses, but not to the government. He wanted to get into the federal government space, but he had no clue how to go about it. He did not have any past performance. Then when we started working with Anthony, so we selected the Department of Defense as his first buyer for his products and services. Then he expanded from there to contract for the, uh, the Air Force and the Army. And he recently got awarded a $1.2 million contract. 
It is possible. Now, can you see yourself doing two to five government contracts per month like Anthony? Okay. So Alan at M1 Support Services is focusing on working with only one buyer, which is the Department of the Air Force. After going through the learning curve, he started small, winning few contracts every five to six months. Now, he's doing incredibly well, and as you can see, in April alone, he was awarded two contracts with a total award of over $13 million. Isn't that exciting? Okay, business owners come to me and ask, which agency can buy my products and services? And the answer to that is, the best agencies are the ones who have the budget to buy. They must have funds, right? Let me share with you a quick story. Chandra was pursuing some solicitations, requests for information, and it turns out that those agencies are just gathering information about certain problems they have. So we showed him how to do it, and he saw an exponential increase in his winning rate. And within six months, he landed a total value of contracts of over $1 million. Then four months later, he doubled that. And by the year end, he was awarded $2.5 million. And when searching for the right agency, you want to measure your demand based on the category of your products and services. So you have seen me using the term Nike's code previously. And to be clear, Nike's code stands for the North American Industry Classification System that the federal agencies use to procure products and services. And let me share with you an example here. When I type in the category of any business, you can see the top 10 contracting agencies by name and the number of contracts awarded. The first of the top 10 contracting agency is the Defense Logistics Agency, or the DLA for short, which is part of the Department of Defense. So it all depends on the category of your offerings. Is this making sense? Okay, so I hope by now you can see how to figure out your agency that buys your products and services the most. So based on each category, you can drill down and find your target buyer. Okay, so I hope by now you got the idea of how you select an agency. Now here is my recommendation. I recommend this because again, you select your agency based on the agency's budget and also based on the type of income stream you want to show up in your life. What do I mean? So I like to make things real and very specific because fuzzy targets do not get hit. What do I mean? Let me give you a specific example. My favorite car is Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Its cost is $155,000. This is my favorite car. It may not be your favorite car, but that's okay. For the sake of this example, for this beautiful vehicle, which agency will pay for it when you can perform on a contract? Which agency would you pick to pay for your favorite vehicle? Well, doing some research, and I will tell you a lot of success on the federal marketplace. Here on beta.sem.gov, I can plug in a series of criteria and I get the results for this award that could meet my goals. Here is the Department of the Navy awarded a contract to Delmar Environmental and Construction Services, Inc. Now, here what is interesting about this award. If you are in the construction business, you can contact Delmar Environmental and Construction Services and build relationship with them to work on that contract or future contracts. And we'll get to teaming and partnership in a little bit. But with that contract, you make a full payment for your favorite vehicle and have some left over. Then you say with Sam, what about my dream home? Well, this is a pretty nice home. It's about 20 minutes away from where I live. And this is Northern Virginia prices. But here is a nice seven bedroom house, five baths, about 7,000 square feet. The asking price is $5.5 million. Pretty nice house. Most people would love to live in this house. Am I right? Well, here is one of the contracts you can win to pay for your dream home and have some leftovers. A $350 million contract. And let me show you another award. This is another contract that was awarded to Rare Solution Inc for an actual obligation of $300 million. You can win similar contracts too. Can you imagine if that happened to you? Now here's another contract that was awarded to Chemionix International Inc. for an actual obligation of $202 million. The question is, if they did it, could you do it? Yes, absolutely. The thing you remember is that everyone underestimates how big the US government is. 
Now, Prasen's company is an 8A certified small business. Prasen is an immigrant and he managed to get his US citizenship. Initially, he was confused about the whole process. After working together, Prasen started winning small contracts at an average of $72,000 every month. But that's okay when you are just starting out. And we'll discuss how to get small contracts without competition. But for Prasen, once he hits the threshold of $38 million, then he will graduate from the 8A program. And here's Jim of Buchanan Consultant Services. Jim was not winning contracts consistently. In 2017, we met and we helped him select the agency of Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. In July alone, his company won a total of $200,000 worth of contracts. In June, Jim was awarded contracts for $270,000. Again, all these numbers are facts, real numbers and accessible to the public. And let me share with you Bob's story. Bob is the owner of High Point Digital. He used to be a small business owner. He wanted to grow his company, hire more staff, increase his profits. He was not winning government contracts consistently because he was chasing so many opportunities that do not fit his goals. So we sat down with Bob. We created a strategic plan for his government business. He recently started winning federal contracts. In July 2019, his company was awarded a $78.1 million contract, not to mention the smaller contracts for $1.3 million, another one for $1.1 million. Now, can you see yourself winning similar contracts like these? Now, if you could win one of these contracts, you can do it as many times as you can, right? And here's Ravi at Ventec Solutions. Ravi immigrated from India and he always wanted to win large projects to grow his technology company. When I met with Ravi, I showed him how to get non-public contracts that are not posted. He started winning smaller contracts. He gained a lot of past performance. Now he's making over $83 million this year. He's considered large business now. And he's having small businesses contacting him to team up with him and working on his projects. And contractors will be contacting you once you start winning these kinds of projects. Isn't that exciting? Okay. Would you agree that there are thousands and thousands of opportunities that are available for more than one contractor to pull in incredible numbers on the federal marketplace and profit from without blaming the ups and downs of the economy and you get paid in a timely manner? Yes? Now let us talk about where you are going to find those opportunities. You say with Sam, I might find my target agency, but if I cannot capture opportunities, what good does that do? And you are right. We've got to be able to capture those opportunities. So once we select the agency, we capture opportunities, and then we qualify them, then we respond. Is this making sense? Good. So what is capture? Capture is the process of pre-proposal preparation activities aimed at positioning your company to win. As simple as that. You have heard them talking about this before, right? So when it comes to capture, there are two main methods that businesses capture new opportunities. Now, there are several places to capture new opportunities that my clients use over the years, but my point is it does not really matter where the opportunity comes from as long as it makes sense from a business and a profitability perspective, okay? These are the best two methods you are going to start using. The first one is responding to requests for information, and the second method is building relationships. Are you getting this? So what to look for when you start your search is finding micro-purchases and non-compete opportunities. Ideally, you want no competition. And depending on your business, the threshold ranges from $2,000 to $10,000. I suggest you start here so you get the feel of your client, you get to understand their system and the way they operate and making you those income streams that you want in your life. Is this making sense? Okay, so let's look at some of the small micro-purchases and non-compete opportunities on the federal procurement data system that happened recently. As you can see here, these contracts range between $2,500 and $9,700. Now, these are the low-hanging fruit contracts, and I know you can win few of those, and you will be on your way to winning larger contracts. 
Can you see yourself winning low-hanging fruit government contracts? You also want to look at simplified acquisitions which are capped at $250,000. Again, what we have seen with our clients is starting small and grow from there. That is an incredible way to break into agencies by winning small contracts. Are you getting this? Okay, here are simplified acquisitions showed on the screen, such as these contracts awarded by the Office of Secretary, the Bureau of Land Management, the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and the Food and Drug Administration are only few examples of smaller contracts that ranges from $27,000 to $98,000 here. And they can go up to $250,000. So these can be your opportunities to pursue and to win. So are you ready to get started? Okay, remember, you want to make sure that you look for opportunities that have a profit potential, which means you have to put money in your pockets every time you win a contract on the federal marketplace. Is this making sense? Okay, so using the pipeline calculator like this one, which I will let you know how to get it by the end of this webinar, you can find out what should be in your pipeline in terms of the value in dollars, the required number of opportunities, priming versus subcontracting, the number of bids you need to submit. You can achieve all that simply by entering few numbers on the left side and you get instant decision on the right side. So this is a very powerful tool that you can use frequently and it will help you calculate your numbers automatically. Just plug in the numbers and it will do it for you. Okay, another powerful tool is the opportunity pipeline. Now you need this helpful tool so it will organize all your opportunities in one place. And as you can see, the value of your current and potential contracts. So these tools make your life much easier to have everything in one place and manage the way you want it. And it gives you a perspective of where you are right now and where you want to be and what needs to be changed and accomplished. All that information will be exported automatically to your business development dashboard. As you can see in this dashboard, you have your pipeline summary and here is your milestones and status details. You have your RFP projections, your opportunities by business developer, you have the location by agency, plus your competition type and current contracts. Now, I know some of you would ask, is this applicable for my business? And the answer is yes, because you need to manage your business from the start. What gets measured gets managed, right? It's a good idea to have these tools added to your toolbox. And again, I will show you how to get these tools by the end of this webinar. Now, is this good? We just saw on the business development dashboard, the total of contract wins is $1,620,000 and the task order wins is $2,800,000. That is a total of $4,420,000 in sales value. Isn't that exciting? Can you see yourself winning those numbers? So what we covered so far, how to select the right agency and how to capture opportunities. And here's another powerful tool which will help you find your annual target list. This is a part of your decision support system. In this example, you can see that the Department of Homeland Security DHS is on the top of the list. So use this helpful tool to get to know everything about this client. Is this making sense? Okay. And here is your top priority agency client. In this example is the Department of Homeland Security. You've got all the information about your prospect here. Again, I will show you where to get this helpful tool. Okay, you also want to use this organizational structure for your agency. So when you talk to a government official, you know their responsibilities and roles and who the stakeholders are. So you've got their names, their contact information, and their office addresses. All right. Are you ready to get started now? Another tool that you can use is this teaming strategy matrix, which can help you select teaming partners for your company. You want to make sure that you get as much details as you can for each potential teammate partner. And I will show you how to team up with other companies in your field. And here we go to beta.sem.gov and search for contract opportunities from the drop down menu. Type in some keywords in the search box. I typed in here the Nike's code 541511 and I click on search. You can refine your search from the left widgets and specify the type of opportunities that is suitable for you. Is this making sense? Okay, 
Another way to capture opportunities is by using the WinFed's capture service. So this app looks for opportunities based on keywords, Nike's codes, federal organization name, center site type, and the place of performance location. Once you click the send, WinFed receives that request and process it. Then within five to seven days, you will start receiving opportunities in your email inbox. A very useful tool that can increase your chances of getting non-compete opportunities. Isn't that cool? So before we get into responding to opportunities, you may ask Wissam, I might find opportunities, but what happens if I cannot qualify them? And I agree with you. We must qualify those opportunities before we respond. Now, let me ask you a question. How do federal agencies determine which vendors are able to perform and award the contract to? So first of all, it starts with your capabilities. Is your company able to perform on the contract? And here is an example of a capability statement. It spits out what your company can perform, your company's logo and your specialty, your mission, specify your services, the types of clients you worked with in the past. I will show you how to get this capability statement example by the end of this webinar. Is that okay? And here's another powerful tool that you can use, the bid no bid qualification. This helpful tool will give you an instant bid decision based on a list of questions organized in sections. So all you have to do is answer yes or no to those questions and the system will give you an instant decision to bid or not based on those answers. Isn't that cool? The best way to start qualifying opportunities is by using the bid no bid qualification tool. It's an easy to use tool, just plug in the answers and within minutes you get yourself an instant decision, which will save you days if not weeks of your valuable time. So I'm sure you have noticed this too, right? Douglas at Akima Support Operations uses the exact same bid no bid qualification tool which allows him a very high winning rate of large contracts. So far he won a $923,000 contract in February of this year and another contract for $2 million. Can you imagine yourself winning similar contracts? And here's Justin at Talu LLC. Justin is a good man. Initially he was spending too much time and effort on deciding to bid or not on many opportunities. And once he started using these powerful tools, he completely changed his business and life. He's doing incredibly well now. In July, he was awarded a contract for $250,000, and in June 2020, he won another contract for $501,000. He said it's all about the process. If you have the right process, the right tools, and you apply them, then you'll be like Doug and Justin, winning large contracts in shorter time than others who do not. So, so far, we talked about selecting an agency, we talked about capturing opportunities and qualifying them. Now it's time to respond to these qualified opportunities. Are you ready to get started? Okay, so before we dive into responding to opportunities, I have a question for you. Are you getting excited about this whole process? And we have not even covered the best part yet. This is where the real money is made because finding your target agency, capturing and qualifying opportunities are parts of the process, but if you do not respond, then your clients would not know about you nor about your products and services. Is this making sense? The good news is there are proven ways to respond and win government contracts and make handsome profits doing it. And if you do it once, you can do it over and over again. Am I right? So for that, I would like to show you another tool which is called the Requirement Traceability Matrix, or an RTM for short. And here is an example of the requirement traceability matrix. This powerful tool will help you organize your requirement section by section with page number and your proposal section number to match the requirements. This is a tool that keeps you compliant and responsive. And I will show you how to get this template automatically in a little bit. Isn't that cool? You also need win themes. And you may ask with some, what are win themes? So basically, when themes make your proposal stand out from the crowd, this is your chance to add value and prove that you can perform on the contract. And you have heard them talk about this before, right? And here's an example of win themes. You implement these win themes in your proposal, which will increase your win rate. Is this making sense? So winning proposals equal sales. 
the higher proposal is evaluated, the more wins you will have. And the reality is even the experienced business owners overlook obvious points in proposals. More sales equal more money, am I right? And as a side note, you do not want to just complete a proposal by the due date. You want to complete a winning proposal. And you can do that by writing it by yourself, which is free. It just takes time and effort. And you may hire a professional to write it for you at a rate of between $500 and $2,000 per page. Or you can work with us here at WinFeds. So would you like to be our next case study? Okay. So every day on the federal marketplace, I see an overemphasis only on the responding to proposal posted on bid boards. However, that is not enough. You want all opportunities. That's including the ones that are not publicly available. So we can eliminate competition altogether, right? Now, let me ask you, would you rather have one agency that awards you 30 opportunities from one firm proposal or one agency that awards you one opportunity from 30 different proposals? First option, right? So the real question is, what is a winning contract would be worth to you? Now, even if it's a small government contract, in other words, what is the value of winning government contracts? Here is how I like to say it in a metaphorical example. You might multiply these numbers by 1 million, but do not ignore the small dollar bills for the large dollar bills. Because there might be few large dollar bills, but there are hundreds of small dollar bills out there. Is this making sense? And listen, I'm not oversimplifying things when I say that just capturing smaller contracts in the beginning in one agency can result in enough monthly contracts to get one of these your favorite vehicle, or buy a nice big house. The clear process that I showed you and the facts and numbers should impress upon you to commit to this journey. Can you see yourself winning government contracts every single month? Let's analyze the facts and data. If you do a quick search for the past three fiscal years, for all awarded contracts up to $1 million, there are 13,229,700 contracts awarded. These are the number of contracts, not the amounts. So let's have, let's have that number sink for a little bit. Over 13 million contracts was signed and awarded to small businesses. If you do get one or two contracts per month out of these, and you get the hang of it, you're pretty much set for life and the sky is the limit. Am I right? I know this because I use tools high premium tools that will show me with the push of a button what my client needs. It makes my life easier by extracting the requirements and shred the RFP into smaller statements and it will organize all of them into an Excel sheet for me. That way, every one of our clients, when submitting a response, they are at above 90% winning rate. Should we care about the competition? No, we don't care about the competition because we are ahead of the game and because we are in places where they are not. So I'm saving the best part for last, and I will show you this incredible tool in a little bit. Is that okay? That is why Douglas said, just trust the process. And Douglas is on the tune of over $1 million per year. Is that cool? With that, we just covered the first cycle of federal contracts business development. Now you know how to select your agency, how to capture opportunities and qualify them, and how to respond to your client's request. Is this making sense? So when you win contracts and you accumulate capabilities and past performance with federal agencies, you can sell your company at a very lucrative price. This is optional and you may consider this option in the future. Isn't that cool? Now, let me ask you a question. Isn't it time that you cash in in what can only be described as the single greatest opportunity in the US economy to create your own fortune? Yes? Anyone, anywhere in the world can sell their own products and services to the government. And you may be on vacation somewhere in Europe and your company is running here in the US and we have clients who do just that. Can you imagine if that happened to you? The best of all, you have seen firsthand just a small portion of the people we have worked with who have achieved amazing success in the federal contracting business. So are you ready to get started? You have seen Nathan at Martin Technologies, Chandra at Shakar Engineering. You have seen Cindy at Fiber Business Solutions. And I also showed you Pricing at Network Specialty Group, Jim at Buchanan's Consultant Services, and Eric at Flowcorp. So would you like to be our next case study?
You have seen Alan at M1 Support Services. You have seen Anthony at SNK Aerospace. I showed you Bob at High Point Digital. And I also showed you Douglas at Akima Support Operations, Ravi at Ventec Solutions, and Justin at Talu LLC. These are real successful people who have proven with their track records that this process is doable and applicable to win large federal contracts. Are you ready to get started? If you have been struggling to find your next opportunity or qualifying bids or even winning contracts, that's okay, I have been there and I know how it feels. With your permission, can I share with you what I created? However, there are some concerns. Should we share this with anyone at any price or keep it all to ourselves? Now naturally the solution, the approaches, the tools, the trade secrets and the resources that we have developed to allow government contractors to thrive is not available to everyone nor do we do it for fun or charity. Now as you can imagine when you have something this powerful it does not come without a significant investment. I make no qualm about that because we can all agree it's not what it costs you it's what it can give you in exchange for your investment. Am I right? And if six months from now, using what I'm about to show you, and you are only $500,000 richer than today, would that change your life? Yes? And the reality is, it's not about the money because I can literally guarantee you profits when you say yes to what I have available for a limited time to you today. First, you must believe in yourself. And that's not optional. That's a requirement. So if you do not believe you can do it for the federal business, then you cannot do it for anything. And I'm sorry to say that to you, but that's, that's just how it is. That's just the way things are, right? So I'm telling you, believe in yourself enough to give this a go. It's not that we don't feel the fear. The fear is there when you try to do something new, but we have to do it anyway. And just have enough belief, a kernel of seed of belief. So why is that? It is to help you experience truly for a limited time only I would like to share with you the solution that is the Federal Government Accelerator. And you may be wondering, what is it? So the Federal Government Accelerator is the complete foundational solution built from the ground up to help government contractors do business the right way in the federal marketplace. The Federal Government Accelerator is unmatched two-day live training program plus tools, templates, examples, and software bringing all the secret weapons so we can get federal contracts using the best advantages and free bonuses you could ever hope to have. Let me share with you a quick story. Carlos is a newbie. He wanted to win government contracts. He had no clue how to go about the whole process. He did not have enough money and he dawdled the first two times the federal government accelerator came around. The third time I pushed him. He had to dip into his 401k to get the money. In July, he was awarded a contract for $208,000, another award for $129,000. He won another contract for $187,000. Can you imagine if that happened to you? When you sign up for the Federal Government Accelerator, you get bonus number one, must win bid opportunities, an $897 value, which will help you win low hanging fruit contracts and discover the methods and techniques our clients use every day to break into federal agencies. You may claim your bonus when you enroll to FGA Life. You also get bonus number two, the proposal requirements traceability matrix, a $997 value. This is a powerful tool to help you win contracts by being compliant and responsive to the requirements of your clients. You get this bonus as part of your FGA program. This is an example of the requirements traceability matrix. You get this helpful tool for free when you join FGA Life. So when you sign up for FGA Life, you get the bonus number three, which is the business development dashboard, a $997 value. We get all your federal business in one place to monitor opportunities, to pursue bids, to adjust plans and manage your team. You can view your current and upcoming proposals all in one single view gathered from multiple sources. You get this bonus for free when you sign up for FGA Life. And here is your business development dashboard. It makes the life of a government contractor easier and it gives you an insight view of your past contracts, your current bids and your future opportunities. So when you sign up for FGA Life, you get two day live training, a $3,997 value, plus all these bonuses, bonus number one, the must win bid opportunities, the bonus number two, a proposal requirements traceability matrix, the bonus number three, the business development dashboard, 
That's a total value of $6,888. Can we add more bonuses? Yes. When you sign up for FGA Live, you get bonus number four, which is Proposal Outline Secrets, a $1,997 value. This powerful tool will ensure responsiveness and compliance of your proposals while addressing all requirements in order. And when you sign up for FGA Live, you get also bonus number five, which is Win Themes Strategies, a $1,997 value to make your proposal send out from the crowd and for the government officials to select you. Can we add more bonuses? Yes. So with FGA Life, you get bonus number six, the Bid No Bid Qualification Tool, a $997 value. You need this powerful tool to avoid wasting time and money on lost opportunities and to reach instant business decisions. And here is the Bid No Bid Qualification Tool. This powerful tool does not cost you anything. It is free when you sign up today for FGA Live. Can we keep adding more value? Yes. When you sign up for FGA Live today, you also get this bonus number seven, the Pipeline Opportunities, a $497 value. This helpful tool will organize your pipeline opportunities in a single view, and you will be able to automatically export all the values to your business dashboard. And here is how the pipeline opportunities look like. This powerful tool like this one can save you countless hours of manual work. Managing your time effectively starts with organizing your pipeline opportunities. And you get this pipeline calculator as part of your FGA program when you sign up today for FGA Live. This calculator gives you what needs to be done to achieve your financial goals in terms of current and new contracts. So far, when you sign up for FGA Live program, you get this two days of live training. You get bonus number one, the must win bid opportunities. Bonus number two, proposal requirements traceability matrix. Bonus number three, the business development dashboard. Bonus number four, the proposal outline secrets. Bonus number five, win theme strategies. Bonus number six, bid no bid qualification tool. Bonus number seven, pipeline opportunities. That's a total value of $12,376. Can we add more tools to help you win even more contracts? Yes. You also get this bonus number eight, which is an exclusive capture service, a $582 value available only at WinFeds. A six months of free opportunities when you sign up today at FGA Live. Usually you pay $97 per month, but you will have access to it for free when you join FGA Live. You also get bonus number nine, the winning proposal secrets, a $1,997 value. This tool gives you a step-by-step -step guide to writing a complete winning proposal. A winning proposal equals sales, which will be translated into more money in your bank account. Can we keep going? Yes. You also get bonus number 10, the resources explorer, a $1,997 value. With this powerful tool, you get additional resources not available to the public to win more government contracts. You will have access to examples of winning responses to proposals, plus templates and extra tools. Isn't that cool? Great. With FGA Life program, we get this bonus number 11, the fastest path to lending your first government contract, a $997 value. This is the untapped methods to win your next contract in less than three months and without competition. You get this tool for free when you sign up for FGA Life. And for the first 10 people, who sign up to FGA Life today only, they get this bonus number 12, the Requirements Compliance Matrix software application. This is an exclusive offer not available to the public. We developed this software here at WinFeds for government contractors. And you may ask, Wissam, what does this software do? Well, it shreds an RFP or an RFI into requirement statements with the push of a button. And it makes life easier with automated requirements extraction by saving you hours of manual work. You can create compliance matrix and export an Excel sheet so you can start working directly on your response. How much is this software costing you? Zero dollars. It's free for the first 10 people who join FGA Live today. So let me show you a quick demo. This is the interface of the software application. You have the read RFP button, which you will use to upload a PDF file into the rich text box on the right side. You have a text box to type in any keyword you would like to, to search for in the extractive text RFP. When you hit the search button, the, that keyword will be highlighted in the rich text box area. And here's the cool stuff. 
the extract requirements button allows you to pull all the requirement statements from the RFP or RFI into a second text text box and save it into a text file on your computer. Then when you click the create compliance matrix button, it will export each requirement statement to a row in an Excel sheet and it will save the file to your computer automatically. The create pipeline opportunity button allows you to create a pipeline opportunity template and save the file in your computer. And on the left side, you can select one or multiple keywords and click the button that says create an Excel and it will export your text into a compliance requirements matrix with those keywords. And the text box at the bottom gives you the count of each word on, in the RFP text extracted from the PDF. Okay, let us see the application in action. How about that? So you start by clicking the read PDF button to select your PDF file from your computer. Choose your file and click the open button. Once you hit open, the PDF file will be converted to a text file and it will be placed in this text box on the top right. The bottom text will be populated automatically giving you the count of each word from the text of the PDF document. It takes each word from the document and gets the count of the number of occurrences of each word. This count will give you an idea of the density of each word. In the text box underneath the read PDF button, I can type in any keyword that can be an indication of a requirement, such as will, shall, or need, and you can see the list from the list box from the left side. So I type here in the text box the keyword require, and I hit the search button, and I get all the highlighted occurrences of the required keyword in the rich text box in the top right. And here how you can get the requirements automatically, you push the extract requirements button. And you may ask Hussein, is that it? Yes, that's it. The requirements will be extracted and saved to a text file in your computer. Then, when you want to export the file to an Excel sheet, you can create a compliance matrix for your RFP by simply clicking the Create Compliance Matrix button. Isn't that cool? So you can create an instant pipeline opportunity. Simply push the Create Pipeline Opportunity button. On the left side, you can select one or multiple keywords and click the Create Excel button and the software will export the text from your PDF into a compliance requirements matrix with those keywords. For example, I selected the keyword shall, will, need, and must and I hit the Create an Excel button. And I get an Excel sheet with compliance requirements matrix emphasizing those keywords saved on my machine. So here you have it. A complete requirements compliance matrix software application that saves you at least 50 hours per week on manual labor. How much does this software cost you? It's free when you sign up today at FGA Live. So here what you get when you sign up for FGA Live. You get two days of live training. You get bonus number one, must win bid opportunities. You get bonus number two, proposal requirements traceability matrix. Bonus number three, business development dashboard. You get bonus number four, proposed outline secrets. You get bonus number five, win theme strategies. You get bonus number six, the bid no bid qualification tool. You get bonus number seven, pipeline opportunities. Bonus number eight, exclusive capture service. Bonus number nine, winning proposal secrets. You get bonus number 10, the resources explorer. You get bonus number 11, the fastest path to first government contract. You get bonus number 12, the requirements compliance matrix software application, a total value of $19,946. Obviously, I'm not going to charge you $19,946, but if all this did was to finally get your government contracts consistently, would it be worth it? If all this did was help you sell your products and services with more government agencies, would it be worth it? If all this did was give you the tools and the complete process to make you $1 million richer, would it be worth it? You can get started now with the Federal Government Accelerator for just a one-time investment. You can sign up now on FGLive.com. And I get it. You may have to move mountains to come up with this. Some people today think or act like money is evil. They look at it as a bad thing. Money is not bad. Money is just a tool for exchange. You spend money right now to get something bigger in return. It's a tool for exchange, right? Now, I hope that you see how serious we are about this and what it can do for you. So let us go in all the way together. I'm so confident in your success based on our client's track record 
and our downright unfair resources only available through the link below, fjlive.com. And you may ask, but Wissam, what about guarantee? For that, that I can legally guarantee you profits when you sign up? How? It's called the reward guarantee. So what is the reward guarantee? With the reward guarantee, we are 100% confident that if you just use what is available, you will be successful. It is one thing to say that though, it is another thing for us to put our money where our mouth is. So let us do just that. It's simple. If in the first 90 days of your access to FGA, you do not land at least one government contract, we will buy back your FGA account from you for what you invested in it, plus we will give you $2,000. Here are the conditions. You want to attend or watch the recording of each of the seven sessions from FGA, document what you learned and your implementation steps. So get started now with the Federal Government Accelerator for just a one-time investment. You may sign up at fjlive.com. Now for the last 70 minutes, we have shared a ton of information with you. But as you know, information alone is not going to save you. You need this live training program because that's what's going to help you to get to the next level with your government contracting business. When you sign up now for fjlive.com, you get the full Federal Government Accelerator live training. We get all our incredible bonuses. You are backed by the reward guarantee and you get access to our incredible exclusive requirements compliance matrix software application. When you sign up at fjlive.com, you get access to three special places. First, you get access to the Federal Government Accelerator live training. Your course will be delivered live on Monday and Tuesday starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will receive an email from the support team with your logistics of your starting time and date. Second, you get access to the requirement compliance matrix software application. And in here, you can extract your requirements automatically with the push of a button. Plus, you can create your compliance matrix and you can also create your pipeline opportunity tool. Isn't that cool? Third, you get lifetime access to your member area where you will see all the tools, templates, examples, videos, the software plus the resources explorer to win federal government contracts. So here is a summary of the federal government accelerator when you sign up today at fglive.com on top of your two days live training we get these bonuses bonus number one must win bid opportunities bonus number two the proposal requirements traceability matrix bonus number three the business development dashboard we get bonus number four proposal outline secrets the bonus number five win theme strategies you get bonus number six the bid no bid qualification tool you get bonus number seven pipeline opportunities you get bonus number eight the exclusive capture service you get bonus number nine, the winning proposal secrets. You get bonus number 10, the resources explorer. The get bonus number 11, the fastest path to first government contract. The bonus number 12, the requirements compliance matrix software application. A total value of $19,946 plus the reward guarantee. Get started now with the federal government accelerator for just a one-time investment. Sign up now at fjlive.com. I want to ask you guys a question. So you are probably being on these kinds of webinars in the past, right? You get excited, you get fired up, and then what happens in the next day? Probably nothing for most of you. And it's sad because I just showed you guys that exact process I'm using right now to win government contracts and increase sales in the federal marketplace. You are going to go back tomorrow and not do anything. The reason why is because old habits are hard to break. You are going to go back to your office the next day and you are in the exact same habits. The only way you are going to be successful is if we figure out a way to break that habit right now. The way you are going to break that habit is by investing in this FGA Life Training Program. Now because I'm your coach, your friend, your mentor, I can come here and I can help you and give you all the tools you need to break that habit so you can become successful. If you don't do that, you're going to slide back to your old exact habits. Everything we did for the last hour here will be completely useless because you just go back to your old habits. So the only way to break that is to invest right now by going to fgalive.com and sign up right now. Now you have the tools to break that habit and be able to take this to the next level. An important note, those who deserve wealth find a way to make it happen, even if there are challenges in the way. 
That is the key ingredient you need. We take care of the rest. So we can all agree about time, that it's not how much time you have. It is what you do with the time you have, no matter how little it may seem. Let me share you a story with you. The Thompsons at Icarus Construction Services, a lovely couple. All they wanted was just one small government contract. At the beginning, they had to spend time in learning the ins and outs of government contracting. So they attended our training, they used our tools available in their members area, and within five short months, they won a contract for $48,000. Can you see yourself doing just one government contract per month? Now, we may also consider Jim of Fabricano Consulting. Jim is a great man. The only thing that was holding him back was time. He worked for long hours. He even worked weekends. But winning only two to three contracts per year, that's not enough. After he enrolled for the Federal Government Accelerator, his life would never be the same. In July alone, he won contracts for over $200,000. Can you imagine if that happened to you? As for Ken at Lowest Price and Associates, Ken is a regular person. He wanted to get into federal government marketplace, but he was trying to save money. And nothing has changed in his situation until he changed his state of mind. So he signed up for the Federal Government Accelerator and he started winning small contracts. And now he's making a killing this year with over $1 million in contracts awarded to his company. And he's aiming at $2 million by the end of the year. Think about this. All of us have disposable income. Most people get paid and a percentage of that goes toward movies, candy, magazines, Starbucks coffee, going out to dinner and things like that, right? So I'm not asking you to go into debt for this at all. What I'm asking you to do is take some of that disposable income you are spending to spend on movies or going out to dinner and that kind of stuff. Instead of blowing it in something temporary and you are going to lose it, I'm asking you to make an investment in yourself because this money you put into this is going to turn into more money for you. So I'm sure you have heard about Robert Kiyosaki, right? Have you guys read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad? In the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, he talks about the difference between assets and liabilities. He said that the poor people, they buy liabilities. They buy cars, they buy boats, they buy those things that you put money in and the money disappears. So what the rich people do is they put their money into investments that actually turns into more money for them. So all that I'm asking you to do here is to divert some of your disposable income into an investment in the Federal Government Accelerator Program as opposed to something that is going to take money away from you. So when you sign up now at FGA Life, you get the two days of live training, you get all our incredible bonuses, you are backed by the reward guarantee, and you get access to our incredible exclusive requirements compliance metric software application. Get started now with the Federal Government Accelerator for just a one-time investment. Sign up now at fjlive.com. Let me share with you a quick story. Corinne from CSP Enterprises. Corinne wanted to land government contracts consistently. The only concern she was in UB to government contracting, she did not know where to go. So when she started working with us, initially, she started lending small contracts. Now, she's doing over $1.1 million dollars not every year, but every single month. Can you imagine if that happened to you? However, I'm scared. I have a great fear that I think is important for you to know about because it could mean everything to you for making a bad decision or the best decision of your life. What do I mean? Let me share with you the story of Angelina. Angelina at Casali Technology Group Angelina is in the business of manufacturing electronic and computer components. She wanted to sell her products and services in the federal marketplace. She saw FGA 1.0 and passed. She saw FGA 2.0 and passed. And finally, she signed up in FGA 3.0. Now, she's winning above $100,000 contracts every single month. Can you see yourself winning just one government contract per month like that? Now, hear what I'm really worried about. This is Matt Qureshi at Futron Incorporated. Matt is open-minded, business-oriented man. He was selling business to business and he wanted to position his company in the federal marketplace. 
He almost quit and refunded. Then Bobby at WinFeds here talked to him personally to make sure he was making the right decision. Then this happened. Matt won a contract for $748,000. He was awarded a small contract for $82,000 and another award for $2.8 million. Can you imagine if that happened to you? So here is a summary of the Federal Government Accelerator when you sign up today at fglive.com on top of your two days live training we get these bonuses bonus number one must win bid opportunities bonus number two the proposal requirements traceability matrix bonus number three the business development dashboard we get bonus number four proposal outline secrets the bonus number five win theme strategies you get bonus number six the bid no bid qualification tool you get bonus number seven pipeline opportunities you get bonus number eight the exclusive capture service you get bonus number nine the winning proposal secrets you get bonus number 10 the resources explorer the get bonus number 11 the fastest path to first government contract the bonus number 12 the requirements compliance metric software application a total value of nineteen thousand nine hundred and forty six dollars plus the reward guarantee get started now with the federal government accelerator for just a one-time investment sign up now at fjlive.com as i mentioned earlier I work for Deloitte Consulting. One of my co-workers, his name is Lou. This contract was awarded to Lou. He was working with me at Deloitte. We are close friends. When he started working with us, he was getting awarded smaller contracts, less than $100,000. Then within two years, only two years, he won this contract for $11.5 million. It is because he was persistent and committed to his success. He believed in himself and he knew he can do it. Now, Lou's company is considered a startup, so an $11.5 million contract is not bad for a two-year-old company. If he did it, you can do it too, right? So say with me, yes, I can. Yes, I can win government contracts with the help of FGA Live. Get started now with the Federal Government Accelerator for just a one-time investment. Sign up now at fjlive.com. Open up a new browser and type in fgalive.com. Fill in your information and submit. You'll be enrolled for the next week training and you will have instant access to your lifetime members area. Let me share with you a quick story. Jim from Flake Towers. Jim wanted to succeed in his business and create a multi-million dollar empire. He was in doubt at first, you know, going back and forth by emailing support with questions then he decided to go for it. He signed up for FGA Life and he's glad he did. Now he's building a successful company so he can enjoy it with his family. A recent award was for $497,000. So are you ready to get started? For those who stuck until the end, you may claim your reward of the strategies to attract government clients, cheat sheet. Just go to winfeds.com slash free dash cheat dash sheet get started now with the federal government accelerator for just a one-time investment sign up now at fjlive.com let us be very clear and i'm going to wrap up here we have stronger relationships with the top federal contractors than anybody else out there most of them i helped start in their federal business and so when i call in favors for them and i'm sure shameless about that when i ask for something they give it to me right one day I will call up on a favor for you, right? Now all my favors are usually in your benefit. And that's why you see a bonus package like you would never see anywhere else. That is what we do for you. But you've got to do something for me. You've got to believe in yourself just for me. And you've got to do whatever you have to do to get that money in place to make it go out of this right now. And for every step forward you take, we will take 10 on your behalf. You take two steps forward, would take 20. You take 10 steps, that's where we take 100 steps for you. We'll take that desire you have for that wealth, that is your fire, right? And we'll pour the gasoline on it. And we will create some glorious races together. Go to the URL on your screen right now so we can get started ASAP. All right, if anybody has any questions that want unanswered or need any assistance, sign in up. Just contact us at support at winfeds.com. That's support at winfeds.com. We're going to be there to assist you, to help you answer those questions. And again, 
Consider this opportunity very seriously. It has a significant impact on your financial future unlike anything else. And this is by far the most incredible opportunity I have ever seen, which is why I push my own family members and my friends to do this. And they are changing their financial future. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. And with that, I will sign off for now.